and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. It's your girl, Butter Biscuit. And so I'm just going to tell you the reasons why I had the gastric sleep done. Just go over a few uh, things of why I got it done and like that. So let's get into it. All right, so anyone that knows Butter Biscuit, knows that I wear a brace. I was in an accident a few years ago and I couldn't support it with my foot. So I wore the brace. I don't like the brace. Never like the brace. Oh my God. I was just so insecure because I would walk like a penguin. I'd just be walk like a penguin. Hey, do the penguin walk. Do the penguin walk. Do the penguin walk. Do the penguin walk. What? Penguin. And so I, you know, it was just, the, it was insecurities of the way that I looked when I walked and, and things of that nature. But as time went on, I got used to wearing it. But I still, you know, want to wear sandals and just on my regular size uh, shoe again. I have to wear like a 10E in men. Like I wear those, the classic Reebok, they real big. And you know, it's not cute. You know, it's not it's not super cute. And so and when I lose my weight, I'll be able to not wear the brace. I'll be so ecstatic. So that's one reason why I went to take the journey of getting the gastric. Because I was trying to lose my weight after my accident and I just couldn't couldn't do it. It was not working for me. All right, it wasn't. Another reason is I was so heavy. I had got so heavy. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would always be like real tired. And I'm like, why am I so tired? I don't understand. And I wasn't really sleeping at night. Kind of found out I had sleep apnea. And it had never really bothered me before. But as I had put on more and more weight after the accident, right? Because I couldn't move like that. Um... I would wake up several times during the night. You know, I would always be tired during the day. I was like, what's going on with you, girl? That's why I love the process because you find out so many things was going on with you that I didn't even know about. I didn't even know I had slept sleep apnea. And so I'm glad I got that done. And so, and the last thing is i'm not gonna say the last thing but another thing is that i could not stand on my feet for like 10 minutes i couldn't stand up on my feet for 10 minutes i i used to work eight hours on my feet being heavy and stuff like that it was no problem and here i go had this accident and now i can't even stand on my feet for 10 minutes and my foot will go numb it was so uncomfortable like my foot always going numb I'm trying to go somewhere, trying to walk somewhere I can't. You know, I'm 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 looking at the cracks and things in the sidewalk to make sure I don't trip and fall. Because if I fell, it was hard for me to get up. You know, because I had went without exercising. And even though I had started exercising, my legs were still weak and I couldn't get myself up. I had got to a point I never would have thought I saw myself getting to. To this point to where as I can't move, because I even though I was heavy, I've always been very active because I always had my children and things. And so, therefore, that made me very active. Um, if I feel I couldn't get myself, I never would have thought that I, Butter Biscuit, would ever have that happen to me. But it did. And so, instead of pitying myself, because I was pitying myself. Like, I really was. I believe that's what took me so long to get it because I pitied myself and I wanted to feel sorry and soak in my sadness. And I know that I couldn't soak in my sadness anymore. I had to do something. And so, I already had isolated myself from everyone because I, I was just pitying myself, soaking. And then I started, you know, to eat more or if i didn't eat i was skipping meals didn't want to eat you know 
So I guess I was going through a bit of depression as well. So, you know, life takes us through all types of changes, ups and downs and things. And we have to maneuver through them the best way that we know how. So, with all my health issues, and I want to get rid of my blood pressure pill, you know, um, get out, get off the um, the pill for gout. Even though I haven't flared up to that yet, I just I want to get off of it. Stop taking the Monlutecast pill for like allergies, single layer and stuff like that, and asthma. You know, um, off my inhalers that so I won't have to use them or use them as needed. My health was a concern, and I didn't like it. And so I have lost some, but I'm not where I want to be. But I have to remember, you can never compare your journey to anyone else's. I had to do that, especially when I go on the website and you look at all the people that are losing, oh, this 100 pounds, 150 pounds, and all this and all that, you know, so... I always have to remember my journey is mine and always remember your journey is yours. You can go at your own pace. Never compare yourself to anyone else because you're not that person and your body is totally different. And so I just want to come in here and just let you know a couple of the reasons of why, you know, I decided to get the sleeve. You know, and I do recommend it. If you get it, it is a it is a whole lifestyle change. And you will look at food differently. I think next time, let's do a, hmm. I think I might cook for you next time. So, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please do that. Make, you know... This is my weight loss journey, and I want to share with the world of what I'm going through. So, I don't know what I might do next Wednesday. I might do exercise. Go exercise. Go, go, go exercise. Go walking. Do the ping pong walk. Do the ping pong walk. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, but now I love my ping pong walk. But I just want to thank you for coming in here and chilling with Butter Biscuit. If you enjoyed this video, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a fantabulous day. Oh, chilling with Butter